Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we finished up quite a bit of Pianta Village. In this episode, hopefully we will be completing Pianta Village. Um, so I really haven't seen you guys in a while, huh? I haven't played this game in like two months, so sorry if my skills are a bit shabby. <laughs> anyway, let's just go ahead and grab the rocket nozzle, get straight into this. Really excited to record again. Uh, I've gotten all over a lot of technical difficulties. So anyway, into Pianta Village. Today we'll be starting off with Episode 6, Pianta's in Need. Uh, now this episode is quite an interesting one. For a couple reasons, it doesn't really make very much sense. Actually, no, scratch that. It doesn't make, it, it doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, so we have this guy here. Oh no, I just went away for a bit. Now look, what? What do you want? I can't believe it, another fine mess, and it's a doozy. Some of the villagers are trapped in the burning ooze, and I just finished evacuating everyone a little while back. What in the world's happening? I think I may just start crying. I'm sorry to trouble you time after time, but please, could you find the time to help us out again? Ten villagers are trapped in the slime. You must hurry. Well, I don't think we're gonna have to see that guy cry, because... Cry, not crime. <laughs> because the character modelers were kind of too lazy to give characters more than like one or two animations so we're not gonna have to see a grown man cry yay that's never very much fun anyway uh the reason this mission doesn't really make sense well remember back in sirena beach went on um the mission scrubbing sirena beach the whole thing was filled with electric goop and it wasn't very much fun in general um if you talk to one of the cleanup guys who were attempting to remove some of the goop, but weren't really succeeding at all, <laughs> uh, they would say they're able to stand on the electric goop because they have thick, thick-soled feet, I believe. Okay, that I can accept, not for being able to stand on electric goop. That I can... Okay, that's fine by me. But I don't think, no matter how thick your skin is, you're not you're gonna be able to go into lava, which is melted rock, which is thousands of degrees, and survive and not be lit on fire or anything. Ah, <sighs> well, whatever. Let's just call it Nintendo logic and be done with it. <laughs> anyway, um, so there are ten villagers trapped in this slime, apparently not getting injured at all. And you just have to go around and find them and clean them all off. Uh, I'm not very good at this mission. I usually end up forgetting at least one Pianta. I guess i actually doing pretty good this time because usually I'd f forget someone by now. But anyway, the last person is over here. Just go ahead and save them and clean them off. Some of them will actually give you blue coins, but we're not into the blue coin section right now. Anyway, um, if you can beat my time on this, which I'm sure you can because I did pretty terribly and took like the worst routes ever go ahead and post a, vid a video response or leave a comment saying what your time was yay i'm giving you guys the opportunity to embarrass me because i suck at this mission <laughs> anyway once you're done saving all 10 villagers just come back over to uh what's his face over here oops here come here let me talk to you dude okay yeah what you can do you can just squirt him and make him stop running and he will um be able to he will be easier to talk to and i cannot talk at all so i hope i'm easy to listen to without too much effort anyway there is our shine all right episode seven of pianta village shadow mario runs wild this is actually the last shadow mario mission get pumped guys I may or may not have mentioned it before, but something special happens after we complete this mission, so let's hurry up and do it fast! Yeah! Yeah! Um, anyway, you might notice that our shine counter is off a little bit from the last episode. That's because I went ahead and recorded the hundred coins and blue coins of every world except this world, um, Pianta Village, uh, while I was gone, and I have those all rendered out. I'm gonna probably put some of them at the end of this video. But that's why our shine count is a bit off, guys. Anyway, that was really easy. It's just another Shadow Mario mission. He will trail some of that fire goop behind him, and he will paint um, fire M's at certain intervals. It's a little bit more of a challenge, but nothing too big. Anyway, if I haven't mentioned it, I love the look of Shine Sprites during night in Pianta Village. So beautiful and shiny and green and bleh. And here we go, this is the special thing that happens that I was talking about. So here's Shadow Mario on top of the Shine Gate. Looks like he opened up Corona Mountain. Hmm. 
nothing big. I guess we can go and chase after him. Flood did say that was his base after all. Nothing. Oh my god, it's flooded. Yeah. So, after completing all the Shadow Mario missions in every world, <laughs> the world will be flooded. And this kind of sucks because it's been your home base for the entire game. It's where you come back after getting a shine, after dying. You kind of learn to trust the area. And, you know, it kind of sucks to see it flooded like this. Everybody is okay, though, so that's cool. It sure is brighter. Have our shine sprites come back? No. None of them have come back. Not, not, not 75 of them or anything. No, huh? Let's go ahead and talk to this guy, see what he has to say. <laughs> is this you're doing too? Dumping goop, dumping water, just make up your mind. I'll take a dump on the toilet, but um... Anyway, these guys who are fighting are now sitting back to back, just being calm and peaceful, and apparently you can't talk to them, so... Or maybe you can, I'm just being stupid. Anyway, um... Yeah, this place is flooded, and it's actually the root of quite a few glitches. I will be showing some of those off... Actually, I'll do it right now, I guess. Why not? But here's Toadsworth. I want to talk to him, see what he has to say. Great ugly bubbly. <laughs> I love that sound effect. Master Mario, did you see that? A fountain of water crashed down like a tidal wave, and it seems hot. Hot? Hmm, I wonder where hot water could have come from, if it wasn't obvious enough already. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, maybe, hmm, I, I have no idea. Anyway, um, uh, the glitches that you can experience here include that, where you try to surface or swim under a log and it kills you. Okay, if you try to surface under, I believe it's this log, enough times, maybe there's something that'll happen, who knows. Um, apparently, I can't get it to work in my version, but if you try to surface under this log, you might start walking on the ground under there. Anyway, there are multiple ways to get this flood over with. Hmm, wonder what that... Sorry, I was reading that, um, Delfino Emergency Broadcast System thing at the bottom. Anyway, there are a couple ways to get this flood over with. Uh, actually, I think this might be the... Hmm. But, um, to end this flood, just go ahead and enter Corona Mountain, then exit. But I am not going to show you guys the inside of Corona Mountain, because it is a spoiler for the last area of the game. So I'm just going to enter and exit really quickly. I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, I'm back out here. Now, it'll just dump you off out here, and suddenly the flood is over. Don't know how that happens, or how that works, or anything, but I'm gonna go back to Pianta Village and continue missions there, so I'm gonna go get the rocket nozzle and do all that jazz. And I'll be cutting this out, because it can get a bit tedious, so be right back. Alright, the last mission in Pianta Village. Episode 8, the Fluff Festival Coin Hunt. This one's actually fairly fun, I just kinda got a southern accent there for a second. <laughs> anyway... Here we go, there's a bunch- Everybody's having a party, we've saved the world, there's a bunch of fluff flying everywhere- Wait, where did the fluff come from? Anyway, this mission is best compared to, um, the only one I think I can think of, honestly, right now, is, um, Red Coins in the Windmill Village in Bianco Hills, because it's one of those Red Coin missions where you, uh, just go around and explore the world and find Red Coins while you're at it, so... The first one is down there beneath the village. That's the only one beneath the village, actually. Normally, you'd have to go around and do a bunch of platforming shenanigans. That was a very bad thing to do. But, um, you can just drop off from the bridge like I just did, and it's a big shortcut. Yeah, this mission is actually quite long, so it'll probably be the last one we do for this video. Well, maybe the other secret shot of this is pretty short. Anyway. <laughs> Second coin, close to the... <laughs> second verse, same as the first. No, but second coin's very... Second coin is very close to the first one. It's just on that palm tree over there. The next one over here is hidden in a patch of grass. Right here. Yeah, you're gonna want to look really hard because it's right next to that big old, really tall grass. So, either use this as a guide or... Well, if you're watching this and you're trying to figure out how to get these red coins, and I don't see how you're not using it as a guide, but, um, <laughs> next one over here by this beehive, uh, it's pretty cool, except for the fact that you can get stung off the cliff, and that really sucks, next one, I wish there was a lifeguard around here to get mad at me about, um, go to the bottom of the hot tub, and it's under there, it's pretty miraculous that I'm remembering the locations of all these things, because I have not played this mission in literally, like, six months, but... 
I guess it has a special place in my heart. Anyway, next red coin, go over here to the stack of crates and break that part of the stack, I guess. And there's the seventh red coin. Anyway, the final one is a really, 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 it's really epically positioned. It is at the highest point in Isle Delfino, the top of that giant tree, yup. And we are going there. Look at everybody having a good time partying over there, and this guy's up here by himself, and the mayor's over there with his wife, but this guy's all alone, just like us. We're always working toward a better future, while everybody else is out partying, it's just not fair. Anyway, do some platforming up here, grab your rocket nozzle. Oh, whoa, almost fell off the edge there. And yes, this rocket nozzle is required. You can get up to this platform using that swing, but um, it's required to get to the top of the tree. Uh, and what you want to do to get to the top is either just jump and rocket, but that can be sometimes hard to time, or spin jump and rocket at the apex of your jump, and it'll be very easy. Anyway, go ahead and rocket up and get our last coin. This is the highest spot in Isle Delfino. You can see Corona Mountain over there, Pino Park, part of Gelato Beach. I think if you go high enough, you can see Rico Harbor too, but that's not something I'm willing to spend time on right now. Anyway, you can see that the Shine Sprite spawns on a cloud way off in the distance. How might we get there, you might be asking. Um, well, my friends, never fear, because there is fluff. Do I sense a throwback to, um, touch fuzzy, get dizzy, or is it just me? Hmm. Anyway, go ahead and grab onto a piece of fluff, make sure you don't fall off if you get too close to the tree, and ride it all the way over here. That is pretty epic. You can ride these fluff things. It's basically like you're flying, and then you get on this cloud. You can expand it to a gigantic size by spraying it. Anyway, come on, and grab your shine. Alright, there is one last thing I want to do before I throw you into the 100 coins, blue coins. Go ahead and select Episode 8 in Pianta Village once again. Get to the top of the tree once again. And once you're up here, don't worry about grabbing any of the red coins, they're not important. This is the bonus shine of this area. This is really cool. So we're standing on the highest point in Isle Delfino, and it has a little hint. It has this shine sprite symbol on this pedestal. Go ahead and spray the sun and reveal a shine sprite. That is really, really awesome. Anyway, that is our final shine, besides the 100 coins of Pianta Village. That is pretty much everything to do here for now. Alright, with that done, I think I'm going to leave you guys to the 100 coins of several worlds, or the blue coins, whatever I decide to do. And this video is going to be a bit longer than normal. I don't know how much commentary is going to be over the 100 coins and blue coins. We'll see when we get there. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next episode of Super Mario Sunshine. Thank you so much for watching. I am glad to be back. Spin jump! Okay, so in this video, I've decided to show the 100 coins of Rico Harbor, Gelato Beach, and Pina Park. I'll save the other ones for another video. Anyway, when you're starting off with Rico Harbor, go ahead and go behind you and break those three crates for a, th a starting amount of three coins. Those are the only ones that yield coins. Don't bother breaking the other ones. It's just a waste of time. The next step, go ahead and explore the sewer system completely. Go through all the intersections. Go every route you possibly can. Whenever there's an opportunity to jump up, do so. That's where you're going to be getting most of the coins in this level. Most of them are located in the sewer. And um, after you're done with that, go ahead and hop on the boat, then hop over onto this crane, let it carry you across, and you can get a few coins from that. Um, the thing you're going to do after that, go ahead and jump up onto the catwalks. Now, the whole thing about the catwalks in this level is there are not as many coins on it as you might expect. There are a few. Go ahead and wall jump here, make sure you get all those. There are a few, and it definitely, I think is required to get over the 100 coin mark, but don't really rely on it to be the source of most of your coins. A note about the bloopers too, killing them does yield a coin, but oftentimes it'll just fall off the catwalk, so unless you want to dive off the catwalk and go get it every time you kill a blooper, don't rely on them too much. Sometimes it does fall onto the catwalk though. So, anyway, still exploring the catwalks over here. Now, after you're done exploring the catwalks, what you're going to want to do, go ahead and go across that bridge. That'll get you lots and lots of coins. Anyway, um, after that, you're going to want to go grab the rocket nozzle from right here. Usually, it's located in Mission 3 first, and 
Hey, this is mission three, so that works. Um, now, once you grab the rocket nozzle, go down into the water, and there'll be several coins floating above the water. The rocket nozzle is required to collect all those, so just go ahead and do that. I, di I cut it out in this recording, as you can see, but it is required to do, I believe. Maybe. Hmm, perhaps. I don't know, but it can help get your coin total up by 8, I think. Anyway, that does it for the Rico Harbor 100 coins. Now, moving on to the Gelato Beach 100 coins. Yay, for this one, you're going to want to pick Mission 8, the Watermelon Festival. Huzzah, we get to go back to this stupid mission. Anyway, I believe there are a total of 14 coins you can get before you even go on to the beachfront. Go ahead and go to this island behind you. Uh, swing on that swing. Yay, it's like a playground. It brings back memories of when I was a kid. Then after that, um, go ahead and go up on top of this tree. You don't have to use the swing to get up here. It just makes it easier. You can just walk up it from the bottom. And grab all the coins on all these trees. There's four on each, I believe. And then after you're done with that, then you can head over to the beachfront. Well, you could before, but I think it's just more efficient this way. And what you're going to want to do, uh, go to this beach house, collect all the floating coins there, do all that jazz. And then, you're going to want to start spraying all the catequacks, every single catequack on the beach. Um, most of this is really self-explanatory, and I don't think I miss a coin on this run. So, I think I'm just going to leave the rest of Gelato Beaches to the music. Except for one teensy part at the end that might be a bit confusing without commentary, so I'll see you in a minute. And you can click the annotation that I just threw up on the screen right now to skip this non-narrated part and go to the part where I begin narrating again. Okay, now something notable up here is that there are a few green birds running around, or flying around rather, birds running around, herp -a -derp -a -derp. but you can squirt them and they'll yield one coin each. It's kind of tedious to do that, but you might end up doing something tedious at the very end anyway, so you might want to try doing that despite how long it might take or how boring it is. And um something right here there are five coins off in the distance if you jump correctly with the hover nozzle i believe you can get them but it's easier to use the rocket nozzle and rocket to them anyway there go ahead and grab the rocket nozzle and rocket above this hut to get a bunch of yellow coins that's really really helpful and now here's the confusing part that i was talking about earlier um for your last few coins you can either pop watermelons until you get up to 100 coins, because when you pop a watermelon, it gives you one coin each time, and you can pop it a total of 10 times before it stops yielding coins. Or, you can turn in the two smaller watermelons of the level. There are three watermelons in total. The big one yields a shine sprite, but the other two, if you turn them in, he will give you 10 coins each. And that should take you over 100 if you followed the route, so... That's pretty nifty, and it will appear where the um, castle appeared in the first mission, so... Go ahead, go over there, rocket to it, Mario, huzzah! And there's the 100 coins of Gelato Beach. Moving on to the Peanut Park 100 coins. There are a couple ways to get the 100 coin shine here. The top two I know of are either going to Mission 2, the Beach Cannon Secret, and spraying the bullet bills that the Mani shoots at, that the Mani Mole shoots at you until you reach 100 coins. Black yield 2, homing yield 2, gold yield 10. You can do that, or you can go to the mission that I just showed a second ago and the one that's in the annotation that I just threw up on the screen right now. And there will be 10 Soren stews flying around the beach. Go ahead and kill all of them. Killing all of them will get you halfway to 100 if you pick up all the coins. It will get you 50 coins. 
and you can spray the beach, which will make coins spawn out of the sand randomly. There are definitely enough coins to get to 100. I'm not sure if there are enough to get to 999. It doesn't really matter. Not many people are going to want to do that just for the fun of it. You can take either route you want, spraying the bullet bills or spraying the beach. I just prefer spraying the beach, and when I tested it, this came out a minute faster than spraying the bullet bills. Since I explained that, it's pretty simple, the rest of it. I'm just going to leave it in for continuity's sake. So I will see you guys next time on Super Mario Sunshine. Thank you all for watching. See you later.